What's up, everybody? The hottest new deck in Pioneer. This is Boros Bushwhacker. I am Les Alex, and today you're going to watch a control player try and struggle through playing this brand new hyped deck in Pioneer on Magic the Gathering Online. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like the video. Of course, comment down below. Tell me how poorly I played. And of course, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. All right, this is the brand new deck. Boros Bushwhack, Boros Convoke, Boros Blitz, whatever you want to call it, uh, of many names. A deck of many names, but uh, the, the goal is very, very uh, streamlined, and this is a very fast, probably the quickest aggro deck in the format. Uh, quicker than Mono White Humans, certainly. But uh, yeah, let's go through the deck list, kind of talk about the philosophy, and then jump into some games. So first off, we have at the uh, zero drops, <laughs> we have Ornithopter. Good old Ornithopter. Um, the the main thing with this deck, before I get into like specific cards, uh, Ornithopter, uh, Gleeful Demolition. Gleeful Demolition is destroy target artifact. You If you control that artifact, you get to create three one one. So it's kind of like um, Kaldutha Rebirth, uh, except it is just a Shatter, too. Uh, it is a Sorcery, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, we are playing Ornithopter. We are playing things like Thraben Inspector to make tokens, uh, to make artifact tokens specifically. Voldaren Epicure as well. Um, and from what I've been seeing, you don't ever really want to, say, crack your Investigate token. If you're cracking your Investigate token or your Blood token, you, desperate times, right? That's not really where you want to be with this deck. Um, you want to be gleeful demolitioning those away to create three one ones, um, and then we are playing reckless bushwhacker. This is a three mana two one with surge. So for a colorless and a white uh, red, you can haste it out, and if it entered the battlefield, uh, if its surge cast was cost to pay to play it, other creatures you control get plus two uh, plus one plus zero and gain haste until in turn. So basically, what you want to do is you want to play a bunch of ornithopters and one drops. Uh, then you want to bushwhack. You can also do lines of playing one drops, burning tree, burning tree, burning tree, uh, Knight Errant of Eos or Venerated Loxodon. Knight Errant of Eos has Convoke. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you get to look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal up to two creature cards with CMC, uh, mana value rather, <laughs> X or less from among them where X is the number of creatures convoked. You get to put those uh, cards in your hand and then shuffle the rest. A Venerate a Loxodon, very similar to Knight Errant, except it says it's a 5-mana 4-4 with Convoke. When it enters the battlefield, put plus 1, plus 1 counter for each creature that convoked it. So very similar but different. We also have Legion's Landing. Uh, we also have Giant Killer as a, as a piece of removal. <laughs> Legion Loyalist, kind of an oldie but a goodie. It has Battalion and says whenever Legion Loyalist and at least two other Creatures uh, attack this turn. Creatures you control gain first strike and trample, and can't be blocked by not, uh, by creature tokens this year, uh, this turn. So very good. Uh, again, burning tree emissary, forbidden friendship as a one of. I've seen a lot of lists playing this as two, three, and even four of. This is just the main deck of the list uh, by Cliff Boyardee at the uh, NRG uh, 5K over the weekend. So. Uh, this is why we're playing these numbers, if you're curious. Uh, then we have Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Plarg, uh, you can, it's a two mana, two, two. You can tap it to discard a card and draw a card. Or for five mana, four and a red, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non legendary, non land card with mana value three or less. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, but the reveal cards on the bottom of the library in a random order. And then it does have uh, Augusta, Dean of Order. On the other side, which is a three mana one three. Uh, other tapped creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Other untapped creatures you control get plus zero plus one. Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control. Then tap any number of creatures you don't control. So uh, a lot to kind of take in. Basically, Plark sweet against decks that are going to go long. Uh, Augusta is sweet against uh, matches where you want to finish them off really quickly. Um, then we already spoke about Reckless Bushwhacker. Kind of the the whole point of the deck is to bushwhack them for lethal. Uh, Halo Hopper is a two of. This is basically, in this deck, is a free three-two. So pretty nice, pretty nice. A uh, little frog 
action, a little artifact frog. And then we do have two Ember Cleaves. This is the card that I think is most... Uh, a lot of people don't like this card in this deck. Um, I haven't played this deck yet for just getting that out there. This will be my first. These games you see today will be the first ones. <laughs> but uh, So I don't know if Embercleave is good. I, I like it in theory. I played this card in standard, and it was really good, obviously. So we'll try it, though. Uh, sideboard, this is where the sideboard uh, gets a little bit different than what, I, uh, what Top 8 did. Um, because they were playing three Gobocons, uh, Invasion of Gobocon. Obviously, this card is excellent against Control, and uh, we are only playing one. They were playing three, so why? Uh, pretty much, they didn't have them in stock. So, <laughs> um, we are playing four Biting Announcements, though, which they were only playing uh, three, so we replaced one of the Gobocons with Wedding Announcement, and then uh, four Rending Volleys, and then three Magmatic Chasm, so for those that might not know, creatures without flying can't block this turn. So pretty good against mono green, mono white. You know, very good, very good. And then Tormod's Crypt, of course, Grease Fang. And uh, good against um, Lotus. All right, that's the deck list. We do have some, you know, Din of the Bugbear. Um, we have Sokens on. But other than that, it's just red and white lands. Pretty pretty, pretty stock mana base there for a red-white deck, I would, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the games and let's, let's play. We found a victim. I mean, opponent <laughs> lost the die roll. I'm sure that matters a ton. All right. This hand is completely garbage. Well, no lands. Another no lander. There we go. We'll keep. I think. All right, we'll keep this. Island, okay. So this could be Mono Blue Spirits. This could be Azorius Control. All right, so next turn we're going to go Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Burn. Oh, okay. This is probably Neoform Atraxa or some form of Neoform. We'll just F6 through this. They put, oh, search for Azkanta and Hero's Downfall. Search for Azkanta. Okay. Well, we're going to get through quite a bit of damage here. Let's just play that. We will red, red. Boom, boom, boom. Another burning tree. Another bushwhacker. Cast with surge. All right. Attack with everything. Go to ten. <laughs> So that was pretty good. That was uh, pretty, pretty good. Still not, still don't have a beat, right? But, oh, Hedron alignment. Okay, well, fatal push. That doesn't work. Oh, my goodness. Our opponent's punting. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the shame scoop. Okay. Hmm, otherworldly gaze. I think our plan is pretty good here. Playing Hedron alignment. I don't even know if we need to switch anything, to be honest. I mean, Ember Cleaves don't seem great because they don't seem like they're... Maybe Tormod's Crypt? I don't even know if that's going to be good. We'll try it. We will try it. All right, on the draw again. We've all gotten a five there, too, so keep that in mind. 
Hmm. We got Ornithopter. This hand is not that fast. We're going to try it. I want to see what kind of a slow hand looks like. This, they're, they're a pretty slow deck, so maybe, maybe it won't matter too much. We'll see. We know they have removal, though, so we shall see. Ooh, Thraven Inspector. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. Otherworldly Gaze. Sure. Let's see what they get. Surveil 3. Hedron Alignment and Heroes Downfall. Again, same exact two cards. Super interesting. All right, well, that's our turn. We can go Forbidden Friendship on turn two. They shock in the water here, so they probably have a removal spell. Ooh, Legion Loyalist, also Dece. Um, yeah, let's just attack. There's Forbidden Friendship. They got a Counterspell? No, Otherworldly Gaze. Sure. So next turn we can go Ornithopter, Legion Loyalist, Bushwhacker, Convote Knight Errant. Assuming we don't get messed with here. All right. Oh, wow. I'm a dummy. I didn't realize that had ace. Missed a point of damage there. <laughs> Again, first time playing the deck. So is something going to get minus three, minus three? Or minus three, minus zero, rather? Yeah, they're doing tar target three, but inspector. All One, two, how oh, do we break? Oh no. Okay. Ooh, we got another knight errant. I think we take Plarg. Try and take down Jace. So they can minus on Knight Errant. Languish, gross. <clears throat> Pretty good. Pretty good, okay. Okay, well.
three, one. Let's just play Augusta. Augustus. That language might have just won them the game, though. Unfortunately. If we would have drawn a land there, we could have cast Night Errant. Mm. Target pairs sacrifices a creature. All right, another night errant. Oh, we can't, oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's just. I didn't feel like that was very good. Maybe like a wedding announcement, right? Try wedding announcement. All right. Well, I think we uh, cost five. Yeah, <laughs> I think we learned that you got to keep good hands, right? You can't just. Uh... Bring them all in. We will play first. First time playing first with this deck. Who got? Th okay, this hand's good. This hand is good. This hand is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Don't care about our life. All right. Pass back. So we can go Ornithopter, Burning Tree, Bushwhacker. Play Dan. Play Ornithopter. Play Burning Tree. Okay. Cast with Surge. Plus one, plus zero to all my creatures. Give them haste. Attack, and they scoop it up. There you go. This deck's cracked by this really aggro deck. We are, we are on the draw. Um, we have Gleeful Demolition. We don't have any ways to make artifacts. We're going to keep this. Again, I'm not quite sure what exactly we're supposed to be keeping here. Ember Cleave, that is an artifact, isn't it? All right. We will make a Legion's Landing, and we will pass. So we've got giant kill. Oh, voice of resurgence. That's pretty disgusting. That's pretty disgusting. Den of the buggy bear. We could surge here. However, I think maybe just giant killing. All right, pass back. Gideon of the Trials. Oh, boy. Yeah. So prevent all the damage my token does. Well, yeah, no blocks. Battlefield Forge. Let's go. Let's 
pick these two. And pass back. Gideon becomes a creature. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So we draw a card. They do as well. They get a 2 2. They get a 4 4 that attacks us here. All right. Now we get to do some fun stuff, though. Let's think about this. We got Thraven Inspector. Thraven Inspector. All right. Ornithopter. Gleeful Demolition. Bushwhacker. Cast with Surge. Red Colorless. This deck's nuts. They've all got haste, so they can block an amount. <laughs> We can kill the this, so we go one, two, three there, and then three at him. Okay. One, two. All right. And we trigger that. Alrighty, and now we get to go main phase two, cast this. Seems dece. Alrighty. Well, that was insane. Basically blew their whole board up. <clears throat> Doomscar. That's pretty gross. That's pretty gross. Um... We just do plarg and pass. We can make a token. We need to make a token or draw the clue. Kind of want to just make the token. Doom scar. Main deck in your voice of resurgent deck. And shadow this guy. That's crazy. What a wild deck our opponent's playing. Tithe. Okie doke. We will make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, we can't. Okay. Just kidding. All right, pass back. We got the biggest creature on the board. What's up, Coz? Like, uh, this is second game we've played. So, we won game one. Voice of Resurgence, sure.
Another knight errant. Yes. <laughs> All righty. Building up a board here, so. Building up a board. Making a token. Oh, they're gonna attack, sure. It's got flying. Burning tree, okay. This thing's got flying though, right? Dragon creature with flying. We can't beat that. Um, how do we win here? I guess we just attack. Right, because we can't block this. Guess we can play this. All right, let's uh, do this properly this time. That doesn't have flying. Okay. Let's see how they block. Double strike. So this would be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gross. This is a 3-3, three, three, so 3 kills that, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, just uh, not good enough, I guess. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> oh, well. Bad math. We still win. <laughs> um, I like this card for sure. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. That seems great. Rending Volley doesn't seem terrible either. Ayla Hopper wasn't the greatest, though, right? Mm. Let's try this. We're just going to try and overrun them. <laughs> just going to try and overrun them.
We're on the play. I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna draw lands. Oh, we're on the draw. I'm tripping. So this hand's a little bit better. Well, we've we've got our uh, sideboard car. That's good. All right. Heart of Kieran. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we'll attack, go to 19. Then I go to 18. We'll flip-flop life totals, basically. We only have one mana. Um, Ugh, that was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> Went for the risky play and it did not <laughs> pay off. Four mana. Gideon allies into car. That's really good. That's really good. Well, one, two, three. All right. Yes. Another one. <laughs> I needed all those lands. Toski. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I mean, we got a block, right? Is there a way we can win next turn? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? No. Yeah, we got a block. I wish we'd draw a land. That is not a land. So let's think about this. If we Legion Loyalists, we can kill Gideon? So they've got they got two blockers. They can block there and there. Oh, they can only block once. Uh, so block here. 
One, two, three. Hold tight there. Okay. Great. Yep. Trigger that. All right. Wow. Artifact or enchantment. Okay. Crew three. Just attacking with everything. Yep. Six cards in hand. They got to have a follow up, right? Planes. Voice. Another voice. Uh, Foretoll. Huh. I wonder what that could be. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't do that. We're taking four from the heart of Kieran. So. We gotta basically have blockers for everything. One, two, three, four. And they, oh, they got the frick. They got this. I don't think we can win. Bushwhacker, they block one. They take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Is there any other way? I don't think so. If we had a burning tree emissary, I think we'd be able to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Play Night Errant. Can't even hit a burning tree. Ah, yeah, I think we just are dead. Because they kill us on the crack bag, no matter what here. Guess we could play Night Errant. I mean, we're just dead, right?
Let's go. Yeah, now we're just dead to the. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that 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 turn was much about nothing. Um. Maybe we board out a plarg. A forbidden friendship. I think we want these rending volleys. There we go. We'll try that. We'll try that. Again, guys, I've never played this deck, so <laughs> I'm trying to probably overthinking things. But this hand has no creatures in it, so we have to mulligan this. This hand's good. We'll keep. Oh, cancel that. Um, so we go turn one, th uh, Spectre, Bloop. Turn two, Ornithopter. So maybe Ornithopter is the... Let's think about this. One. I think Legion's landing. Okay. All right, here we go. Pass back. Temple Garden tap. That's good for us. All right. Play this. We're going to have five available. We can venerate a locks it on. It's going to be huge. A 9-9. Nine -nine. Oh, yeah, it puts plus one counters there, not on it. <laughs> that would be insane. I think actually going wide is even better. Tide taker, sure. All right, well, we'll do battle. Sure, they get an afterlife token. Add more power to the board. Well, this is kind of one of those nutty hands. <laughs> Another tithe taker. Sure. There's no way they can attack there. We just attack. <laughs> yeah, GG. All right, two and zero, oh, two and zero oh with uh, this crazy new deck. So we can go poop, poop, poop. I think we'd rather have the land and the ornithopter. I don't think this matters a whole lot on which one we play. This gives us a creature and a clue though, or and a artifact. So if we draw demolition, ooh, is this a Zorius control? Feels like a Zorius control.
All right, attack. I think we play Loxodon next turn. And then we bushwhack them. That'll all be before turn four. Now, if they have lockdown, it'll be really good for them. <clears throat> but let's see. They could have, like, oh no, so no lay down arms. They obviously could have a counter spell here. Ooh, Gleeful Demolition. That's, that's hard to pass up. Uh, we're going to just. Pop the clue here. Ooh, they got a dispute or a uh, make disappear. Veto. Okie doke. All right, we can still attack. And then we can draw a card off the clue at the end step. So we did get a little greedy there. I, I still I still think we would should have made that play. Because they could still, like, veto and make disappear, same mana, so it doesn't really change much. They're just as likely to have make disappear as they are veto there. And in most instances, they're probably more likely to have make disappear, which, if that's the case, obviously, it's getting anything's getting countered. Ooh, do they have it? Ooh, Narset. Okay, so not what I thought we were going to be facing here, but <clears throat> they will be tapped out. Let's see what they get here off of the Narset. The Wandering Emperor. Okay. So... Draw a card. Ooh, okay. So let's think about this. We got four mana. We can bushwhack. Do we just want to go Inspector and Bushback? So that'll make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them to three. They are at. I think so, right? Or we can just, yeah, we need to kill the Narset, I think. Come on. What is it? We know you're tapped out. I scoop it up. They don't even want to play. <clears throat> All righty. So, GoboCon and wedding announcements. We do not need Ember Cleave in the least. Uh, Halo Hopper is not excellent. And we will take out Loxodon. All right. Try that. Game one against Azorius Control goes to the good guys. <laughs> I 
this has got to be a rough matchup if your if your deck isn't uh, prepared for it. I think the laydown arms version is actually horrendous against this deck, and you should definitely be playing temporary lockdown version if you are expecting uh, Boros Blitz, Boros Convoke, whatever you want to call it, because. You can't one for one this deck. They are generating so much value off of each of their creatures. It's just not realistic. Um, so we can go Epicure, Epicure. And then we're pretty much done for. We're on the draw. We're going to mulligan this hand. We need. Okay, this hand's very similar, except we've got. We'll keep, put back one Bushwhacker, I think. We're on the draw. Our life total doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we can go. Thraben Inspector, and the next turn we can go Gleeful Demolition. Alrighty. <clears throat> Need to draw another land for sure, but. Okay. We get to go locks it on here. Just hope they don't have a uh, hope they don't have a lockdown. Jesus, this deck's nuts. This is turn two. Look how much power is on the board. I mean, they have to have lockdown here, pretty much. <laughs> this is all with one land. <laughs> Do they have it? They had to have brought it in, you would assume. It's a cool looking planes. One white, two white, three white, temporary lockdown. They had it. Dang. All right. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Epicure. We will rebuild. <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder, though, that's for sure. Still got decent pressure, though. If we can draw a land, we're in business. Assuming we don't see a Wrath or <clears throat> something like that. Hopefully they just keep drawing cards. Okay, so no wrath this turn. What? Come on, land. Oh my goodness. We'll discard one of these bushwhackers. <laughs> well, that'll be great for next turn. All right, battle. Take them to 10. 
All right. If we can draw land, <laughs> we could potentially win next turn. We'll see. I don't think it's going to be that easy. <laughs> they had the lockdown. There's an island. So they drew that island this turn. Here's Teferi. Teferi took Loxodon. This extremely... Oh, there's Verdict. Okay, well, that's just straight up for Supreme Verdict. Okay, so Emissary Bushwhacker is pretty good. So land, red land. Can we have red land? There we go. We can bushwhack again next turn. My gosh. If we can beat Lockdown and Verdict, this deck can beat anything. <laughs> like... All right, here we go. Watch us just draw another, like say they verdict here and then we draw another burning tree. <laughs> Wandering Emperor, okay, so that's good. That's good for them. Now I, I do think they, they, yeah, I was gonna say they have to, they have to surge there, or else they would have died. Do they have a removal spell? Adawara. Okay, looks like they probably have something here. Faithful Absence, maybe not, holding off, well, we'll see. <laughs> er it, er it, <laughs> er it, er it. <laughs> All right, so they didn't play it, whatever it was. Wait, why can't we surge? Am I tripping? Okay. I don't know if Moto's tripping or what, but. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because both of these are going at Wandering Emperor anyway. But that's really weird. Okie doke. Your turn. Question is, what is our best draw? Obviously, Verdict is like pretty much game ending. Our best draw would be another Reckless Bushwhacker, I think. If they have another temporary lockdown, that'd be lights out. That would be really good for them. They played their tap to planes. <laughs> they have not tapped to planes. Jeez. <laughs> mm. 
Bruh. If they just like play a verdict after all this nonsense, okay, sure. Like that's fine, whatever. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll battle. Tag for two. Go to five. Play this one. All right. Well, Mountain doesn't do much. Like I said, a Wrath or a temporary lockdown just ends the game basically on the spot. Not sure what they could have in their hand that they wouldn't be wanting to play. And they've got to know we're just playing whatever we draw. They've got like a shark token, like something here. Come on. Like a, I would probably, yeah, well, yeah, okay. So big shark, that's, that makes sense. I'm going to play one more turn, uh, and then we're going to call it. All right, pass back. No way they attack with that shark, right? We've battled through Supreme Verdict, Temporary Lockdown wiping our board, Wandering Emperor, and uh, Spot Removal, and now Teferi. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this game, but this... And we only almost got him. We almost got him. Yeah, I think they can pass back pretty safely here, especially if they have a counter spell. If they have a counter spell, they attack. If they don't have a counter spell, they would not attack. Okay. What's up, Alvon? Playing his new deck. This thing's nuts. It's 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 wild, man. It's wild. Okay, well, we can go to game three. Cool. Um, all right, I'm just going to resubmit. Going to game three against Azorius Control. Let's keep a nice seven. Azorius Control. We're on the play. This hand is so close. Right, because we can go Loyalist. Okay, this is better. This is better. I think we got to put back 
ornithopter. Alright. Wedding announcement, very good in this matchup. All right. We are on the play, which is huge. Let's see what they've got. Yeah, wedding announcement is great. Not good, though. All right, Valderian Epicure. We can do the blood thing. Get rid of a Sacred Foundry. Then we got Wedding Announcement next turn. Hopefully we'll stop drawing lands. Okay, Prairie Stream, that's good. Ornithopter, all right. All right, giant killer. That probably shouldn't be in the deck. <laughs> All right. We'll attack. No way they kept this slow of a hand without a uh, verdict. There's no way. All right, we're going to pass. Yep, that's what I was thinking. All right, well, we got Invasion. That'll be good. Wish we would have drawn that <laughs> for the turn. Yeah. No way they don't have a verdict here, right? Holy smokes. Okay, so they've got... Got Emperor. Another demolition. Cool.
All right. Invasion of Gabocon. Read them and weep. <laughs> Ooh, they've got Caracol. That's very good. Let's attack. All right, now we're just going to do it because we've got Light Shield Array. All right, pass back. Okay, Gobblecon's insane. And they're dead next turn. They're gonna deluge, sure. And I don't know. I don't know how they beat this. I really don't. Sunfall would be insane. Sunfall would definitely be the way that they get out of this. Temporary lockdown, also a good one. Gerbs. Maybe we went too hard with the gleeful demolitions. We're still in it, though.
Aggro decks are becoming more resilient against Verdict. Yeah. How many are you playing? Three? Two. In hindsight, maybe we should have taken the Deluge. We could have probably just bashed through all the critters. I don't know. It was a close call. Certainly grinding us here, though. Certainly grinding us down. Could draw another reckless bushwhacker. That would be a, a play we could make. Two verdict, two sunfall, two lockdowns, one settle. Hyper aggro. Oh, wow. Yeah, I played... That was my meta. That was my meta yesterday, or uh, last Thursday. There was four humans decks, literally. Of the 12 players that played, there was four human decks, which is why I played an extra copy of uh, Supreme Verdict. And two lockdowns in the side. Went undefeated, too. So, <laughs> pretty decent. All right, well. They've got to have a remove or a counter spell, right? Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> yep. Looking pretty grim for the home team here. Yeah. I'll be playing it. Yeah, I'll be playing it. Um, maybe tomorrow and the next day. It's Teferi. Cats. Yeah, that's really good, too. Okay. So now we get to lock it on here. Well, I skipped Pat. That sucks. Well, <laughs> okay, we get a clue. And they're going to pull away with this one, I think. We can't afford to block. But they're going to lifelink. All right, GG. All right.
right. Well, 2-1 today. 2-1 and one with the new hotness that is Boros Blitz. I like calling it that. I know it's Boros Convoke, Boros whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to call it Boros Blitz, um, Boros Bushwhack. This deck's sweet. Uh, if you're looking for a fun, very fast aggro deck to play in Pioneer, this is the new hotness. You should definitely check it out. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video. Comment down below what you thought about the deck and the gameplay. You know, I'm a control player. I'm sure I messed up a ton. Uh, be kind. Be kind. Um, and, of course, subscribe down below if you want to chop it up elsewhere on Twitter, at Les Alex over there. If you want to support the content directly, head on over to you. Uh, head on over to Twitch. Hit that subscribe button over there. Give me some of those Bezos bucks. Or head up patreon.com slash Les Alex. Um, also, my piece for quiet speculation just went up you guys can check that out on their website quietspeculation.com that'll be in the description or hit up the youtube page so check that out thanks everybody for watching um we will be rating so stick around for that everybody else adios